Hey y'all, I am cooking a very, very quick dinner tonight. So I thought I would show you how fast you can have something done. I went ahead and started one pound of ground beef and I've got that in the two quart micro cooker and I did it for three minutes. It's got about 30 seconds left and then I'm gonna tilt this down so you can see I'm making sloppy joes, but I'm making sloppy joe boats. I've got my hamburger buns and instead of serving them just over the hamburger buns, which you definitely can, I'm putting them in the muffin pan and pressing them down to make little boats. That's why I call them my sloppy joe boats. Then I'm gonna take my mixture and put on top of these. So my hamburger is fixing to be done. And I'll tilt this down so you can see what I do next with my hamburger. But I love, love, love being able to cook it this quick in the microwave and it is delicious i promise you it's not dry it's not it's just perfect so i didn't even break it up and i've got a lot of grease there um, so i the reason i don't break it up the micro cooker lid does have vent holes or straining or draining holes but i have found over the many many times i have cooked pork or sausage in here I mean, pork or beef in here, it's easier for me just to hold this with the mix and chop and go ahead and drain all that grease out. I do my grocery shopping online and I normally buy lean, but I must have not picked lean this time because that's a, a lot more grease than I normally get. Okay, so we've got that old yucky grease drained off. Then I just take the mix and chop and you can see it's still pink. You can even do this from frozen. If your hamburger is frozen or your sausage, your beef, whatever you're wanting to cook, you can go ahead and put it in there frozen and do it for three or four minutes, just like I just did. And it will be de-thawed. And then you just break it up, just like I'm doing now from if it was frozen, and put it right back in the microwave for three or four more minutes. But it really, I'll go ahead and chop this quick, y'all, sorry. It really saves time. From having to do this on the stovetop if you're busy and you got little children or things to do when you get home from work this is the way to go all right so i've got it broken up now before i put it back in there even though it's still a little bit pink i'm going to go ahead and mix my sloppy joe sauce so i'm using one fourth cup of brown sugar i'm going to put in a teaspoon of worcestershire sauce i did not get a teaspoon out, so I'm just gonna shake a little bit in there. That was probably a little more than a teaspoon, y'all. All right, and normally I would put onion, but I'm gonna use three onion rub. I don't wanna cut up an onion, I'm in a hurry tonight. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon, which is one cap full. You know what, y'all? I'm, I'm, I don't have much left. So there's a tablespoon and just a, empty my jar a little bit more but don't fret i have about five jars of these in my cabinet because i love 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 them now you can put salt and pepper to taste if you want to i don't because the um, brown sugar and the worcestershire sauce and three onion has got enough seasoning for me and i'm going to put one cup of ketchup so i'm just going to pop that in there using the um measure all cup you know from watching me <laughs> that i have a deep love for that measure all cup i was able just to squirt my ketchup in there and i didn't have to get any on my hands and it got every last drop of that one cup of ketchup okay so now i've got a spatula somewhere i'm going to go ahead and just take this mixture and stir it around and let that go ahead and cook for the last three minutes with my beef to go ahead and get all that good flavor. So you can obviously also buy the Sloppy Joe in the can already made, but we all have brown sugar and ketchup typically in our kitchens and some seasoning. So it's really, really inexpensive to make your own. And then you know truly, truly, truly what the ingredients are in there. All right, so I'm going to put the lid back on Put it back in the microwave for three minutes. All right, so while that is finishing up, let me move these dishes out of my way. 
I'll show you how I do my little boats, which is very, very easy to do. Maybe it's easier if I bring y'all this way. I like to use the boat press set. You can use your hands, you can use a spoon, a tarp shaper if you have one. The boat press set comes with one handle and three different attachments. This is for our mini loaf pan. This fits our large brownie pan. I love making brownies and then pressing them like I'm gonna do these buns, filling them up with ice cream or different flavored treats. Grown-ups and children both love doing that at parties. So you can also, in your muffin pan, if you wanna make the Sloppy Joe boats, you can use biscuits. When I use canned biscuits, I will pre-bake the biscuit, I'm going to do the biscuit the same way as you see these hamburger buns, and then I'll pre-bake the biscuit just for about five or six minutes. And then I will fill the topping on top of the biscuits and bake them for about 18 minutes. When you're using these hamburger buns, they don't really need cooking, they are done. So I have, oh, I've got to cut my oven on. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to bake these at 400 degrees for just about five or six minutes, long enough for that cheese you see over there to melt on top. Okay, so I've got my bun in here, and then you just press it down, and it makes that little boat. It's light. This bun is light and airy, so once I put the meat on, it will stay down great. So you just put that there and press it down. Got that one a little crooked, y'all. Okay. I don't have but a minute left. I talked to y'all too much. Oh, God, I got my mixing chop. <laughs> I gotta pay attention. Oh, Lord. I'm in too big of a hurry to cook tonight. I'm hungry. But this is quick, quick, quick. And this is something your little ones will love, too. Your grown-ups and your little ones. Everybody loves Sloppy Joes. All right, just a couple more to do. Get them in there. And again, you don't have to use the boat press, but I wanted to show you the boat press. I don't show it often, but I use them a lot, especially with my desserts or when I do meatloaf in the loaf pan. You can put um, mashed potatoes and stuff in the middle of those too. So I've got all my boats ready. And we've got just about 10 seconds left. How quick is that? I mean, you can throw a dinner together really, really quick with the micro cooker. Here we go. Let's see what we got. The micro cooker is on my list for everybody that graduates or gets married. Everybody needs a micro cooker in their kitchen, in my opinion. See, that's nice and bubbly, and it smells amazing. Okay. So, Sloppy Joes are done, y'all, in six minutes. And you actually could serve them right over your hamburger buns and be ready to eat. But as I said, I'm going to do mine in the oven tonight just because I'm going to top them with cheese. Let me get my scoop. So, I have got the large. That is um, a three-tablespoon size. So that's our large stainless scoop, and I'm going to, ooh, that's hot. Put this mixture, I won't keep you guys on to do all of them, but I'm going to put the mixture in my little boats. And then, top them with some cheese. Let me grab my cheese. I shredded up cheddar cheese. You can use a combination, any cheese you want, really. Um, combination of cheddar and mozzarella would be good. But so I'm just going to put that right on top. That is, love shredding my own cheese. The flavor, I promise you, if you ever start shredding your own cheese, not only is it cheaper because you're going to get more out of that block of cheese than you will buying the pre-shredded shredded cheese, but the flavor, y'all, is just un, unmatchable to that pre-shaded. Aren't they cute? All right, so again, I won't keep you on to fill up my other um, little Sloppy Joe boats. 
but I just wanted to show you how you can do that quick and easy. I could just, I'm hungry, so I could just eat this right out of the bowl tonight. <laughs> so I will finish filling it up by then. Maybe my oven will be preheated and ready to go. And I will put pictures at the end as well as the recipe um, in the comments. And I'll put the recipe using biscuits or the hamburger bun so you'll know how long to bake for either one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't have a micro cooker, call me. <laughs> or go to my website because you need one of these in your kitchen. Thanks, y'all. Have a great night. Bye-bye. just wanted you to see this is five minutes in. I probably won't go any more than seven minutes. And I may cut it on the broiler just for a little bit to get that cheese nice and toasty. They smell so good. Okay, y'all. I just took them out of the oven and I have them sitting on the cooling rack. So I thought I would show you. They're so cute. They make the cutest little treats for parties, um, for little appetizers. Everybody loves them. Grown-ups and children alike. Everybody loves sloppy joes and you do not have to put cheese on top if you don't want to. So again, the micro cooker, I had a little bit of sauce left and the boat press was perfect for this job. And once they cool, I will um, take a picture of one of them out of the pan so you can see what they look like.